folks. The effort to honor a soldier from Shorewood killed during the Vietnam War. Michael O'Donnell died in Cambodia in 1970. 12 News' Emily Pofal reports on his high school classmate working to create a scholarship in Odell's name. If you are able, save for them a place in sight of you. That's John Ridden. And save one backward glance when you are leaving for the places they can no longer go. He's reading a poem written by his former classmate and Vietnam War hero Michael O'Donnell. They really bear his soul as to what he was going through in Vietnam. It's all chronicled in this book, In That Time. Its author... The poetry brought me into his story. Daniel Weiss, former president and CEO of New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, an art history professor at Johns Hopkins University. Michael's what life was worth, worth honoring and worth remembering. The book details O'Donnell's Wisconsin upbringing and work as a helicopter pilot in the Vietnam War. Widely known as one of the war's most dangerous positions, Weiss says O'Donnell used poetry to cope with the carnage he saw. In Michael's case, this happy-go-lucky, charismatic young man, three or four years later, was talking about his own death because he knew there was no future for him. And I think if we can think about those two moments in the life of this one individual, we won't be so quick to go to war unless we really need to. He died on a mission in Cambodia in 1970 after he flew into heavy fire attempting to rescue eight soldiers. A war veteran himself, Redden made it his then, new mission to he, honor yeah, his friend. He almost saved eight lives. Uh, and it was such an exceptionally brave uh, act uh, that I thought it should be memorialized. Starting an annual scholarship at Shorewood High School for students like O'Donnell. And in that time when men decide and feel safe to call the war insane. With an aptitude for poetry. Take one moment to embrace those gentle heroes you left behind. Redden hopes to raise $20,000 to start the annual scholarship to award a Shorewood High School student interested in poetry and the arts. Redden says after he raises the money, the school will manage the scholarship program, and we have information about how you can donate to our story on our website.